Hello everyone, it's Red Herring and this video is about the Yuki Cup. So a couple weeks ago I had put out a video comparing the Yuki Cup to the Maluna Sport and I was questioned if I actually had the classic uh, firmness of the Yuki. So I went ahead and contacted the company to ask them if there was any signs to differentiate between the soft and the classic firmness of the Yuki's and they got back to me really quickly and let me know that there are no verified signs uh, to say which one is which. So um, to make sure that there was no doubt I went ahead and ordered a brand new set of the large Yuki cups in both the soft and the classic uh, versions. And I had three other Yuki cups, and one was in economic. Um, and they did away with that a few months ago or so. And um, now the economic only um, refers to which set you get. So you can get the cup alone, or you can get it in a two set, or with um, their disinfecting cup or their uh, sanitizing cup. So uh, I'll go ahead and pause this and open it up so that we can take a closer look at it. Thanks to one of my viewers, Natalie. Uh, she sent me a link to somebody else's video that showed the differences between these two cups. But that video was from 2014, so I wanted to um, just do an updated version of this. Uh, I don't know if they actually compare the same, but we're going to find out. So watching the video, I went ahead and took notes, and I'm going to go over each of those differences that they explained in that video. And the very first one were, was about the holes. So in that video, um, it said that the holes on the soft cup were larger than the classic. And I'm going to go ahead and mark up here with soft and classic. So bringing these two cups up close. Um, in the video, it looked like her classic cup didn't even have a hole. Like there was a marking for the hole, but it was so small that you couldn't see right through it. So here are my two cups close up to the camera. And it does appear that the smaller or I'm sorry, the softer cup has larger holes, but not by a whole bunch. I'll go ahead and turn the cup around and compare each of these holes. There's only four of them. That one looks very large. And the next thing that she mentioned were the stems. So this, the um, soft Yuki cup had a very soft stem and it's bendy and the um, stem on the classic was more firm. She also mentioned that when she held the cups up by the stem, the soft couldn't even hold itself up, but the classic stem could. She mentioned that on the soft Yuki cup, the stem was nice and stretchy. And you can see here that that's true. There's a resistance right about here. And on the classic Yuki, the stem doesn't move. So that is also true. Barely any movement from this. Um, she mentioned that the the grip rings on the soft Yuki cup weren't really raised off of the stem, um, that they were barely there and they really didn't lend any gripping um, help with gripping, <laughs> and that the classic had pronounced grip rings. On my cups, they seem to be raised about the same, so I'm going to put them together and put it up against my hand so that you can see.
The last thing that uh, she mentioned in her video was that the colors were a little bit different. So the um, soft Yuki cup was more transparent than the classic style and you can kind of see that already here but I'm going to put it up against um, their sanitizing cup so that you could see it a little bit better and the uh, classic looks a little bit more milky than the soft cup and you can see through it a lot clearer too. Unless you had both of these cups, it would be kind of hard to um, really say that you had a soft or a classic by looking at the color because both of them are uh, see-through and by the holes because honestly you wouldn't have the other one to compare it to. The only thing that I would be able to say is that if you were unsure which uh, Yuki cup you had, a soft or classic, would probably be if the stem was stretchy. So if you can stretch your stem any amount, um, then you'll, you probably have the soft Yuki. But if you can't move it, or if you could barely move the stem, you probably have a classic Yuki. So that's all I have to say about these two um, in comparison uh, between the soft and the classic. I will be doing a squish comparison between these two and you can find that video at the end of this video or the link to that video at the end of this video. Uh, if I missed anything or if you had any additional questions go ahead and leave me a comment below or find me on Facebook. Um, and that's all I have. Uh, until next time, take care.